<laughs> well, hello and good morning. This is Ilfkun Blackpool Christmas 22. Good day. <laughs> good morning, Mitchwa. Good morning, Darren. How are we? We are good. Are we looking forward to some, to some good pool today? We shall see. Obviously, for me, it's a bit <coughs> different being back um, back in Devon now, but um, we shall see what's on the horizon. Yes. It will be a good day, whatever happens. Whatever happens, whatever we'll happens. have some fun. Yeah. Unlike the journey in this morning. Well, that was a bit slushy. Yeah. A bit slippy and slidey. So, first up, 10 o'clock game. Um, we have Jason versus Les. John Charlie's just popped over for a quick look. Jason lost the lag and done a run off. Is we ready, mister? Put something aside, isn't it? Are we ready, mister? 
Yes, yes we're, we're ready. ready. Yeah. yeah, waiting for you. So Les has won the uh, lag. Yep. We've only just joined Les us. Yeah. Love it when a plan comes together. Oh, it's all good. First game of the day. Uh, 100 pound pot. And we're dry on the first break. And we're away. Good morning to all the listeners. If you've tuned in this early, I know that a lot of people might be doing other things as there is another sporting event on today. Uh, being Z Football at 7 o'clock. So we appreciate if you are in. This is obviously Darren's big surprise for the day. Yep. Not only are we now streaming other events, but we now have commentary. Well, we hope. So if you are listening, you are watching, if you could let us know in the chat if you can hear us, if we're too loud, too quiet. Whatever you think, any feedback is welcome, and we will take it, even if it's bad, we will take it as constru constructive and uh, for the benefit of the stream. So yes. any comments, and we mean anything, please don't hesitate to give us a shout. We've got our Messenger chat, op uh, chat open on the YouTube channel, so we can see if you are sending messages in, so it would be great. Just to have some feedback, as Daniel said, if we're too quiet, if we're too loud, or even if we sound a bit tinny in your ears, then there's a certain few things that we can change to, to make your viewing experience better. So, to the pool. Yes. Jason's opened up with yellows. Decent opportunity. Obviously, as a lot of people will know, they were all races to 12, but very kindly, every player has accepted the race to seven due to the football. Was nine. It was nine, was nine. it? Yeah. Thought it was originally 12. Nine. Didn't ideally want the cannon there, but still leaves himself an opportunity. He will need to get a high of the red above the two yellows for the plant. Good test of queuing. Les will come in with a half decent opportunity here. Only the one stuck ball. With the way the yellows are situated, he might choose to play some sort of safety to gain more control at some stage. I think he can actually sneak that red by the yellow underneath it and claim the pocket, if not even drop it. Ooh. But there's always that option with the way those uh, yellows are laid out behind the black. So you can find out. Ooh, or alternatively, you could help his opponent out. I think Jason was very happy to see that happen. Yes. An unhappy face turned to a smiley face in the matter of one shot. So today, viewers, we will um, let you know we have a couple of football cards on the go today, um, which we have three in play. We have a one pound per team, 30 squares available, a two pound card, 30 squares available, and for those up there with the big bucks in their pocket, five pound a square. That will win you 75 sterling for your five pounds selection. Yes. Fifteen pounds to the winner if they pound. play the one pound card. Yep. And thirty pounds to the winner if they play the two pound card. Yep. So if you're unable to get to Ilfkin, that's a lovely first time back. Uh, if you're unable to get to Ilfkin today, then by all means send us a message if you fancy getting involved with the football cards and we will arrange some sort of payment from you. Um, yeah, just send me a message um, or s send a message to Q Sports Live oh via yes, the uh, Facebook so Messenger app. Yes. Um, and we'll pass on your bank details so you can transfer the money via bank transfer. Or PayPal if you wish. Yes, I can do PayPal. There as we well. go. So, whilst we've got all that covered, Jason takes the first frame. Lovely black down the line. Um, always nice to get your first frame on the board. 
As I say, the first one and the last one is usually the hardest one to win. Indeed. Especially being on the hill. I've known many a times to uh, miss out after even being on the hill. Current world senior champion, Jason Twist, has just entered the building. Jason breaking off for uh, rack number two. It's an absolute puncture. They split lovely. Black goes. How do you like your yellows in the morning? With that sort of break, I like mine with a smile and a tapping blow. Give us a good indication of how Jason is up for this game today. Commentator's curse already. Oh, we yes. love it. It's the best part of our job. <laughs> Although, I don't know why, but I can't seem to make this. Oh, what a shot. It's not all commentator's curse, you see. It's got a choice now. You're just pleased he got you out of the hole. <laughs> He put it in a hole, so that's all it matters. <laughs> He's not hanging about doing these, is he? No need to hang about. If it's there, take it. It's made Has good use of that red to get rid of it. Has he just covered the black? No, he should be fine. Supremes, they slide off the bags. Or he's just going to come over and go for the jump. No. Oh, he's gone for the opposite. Oh. That's a good shot. So, well, that's a fantastic shot in the circumstances. Very early on there, very easy to get wrong. But Oh my goodness. Just shows that after a shot like that, yep. you would think to yourself that that was a given. That's just got a fair bit tapped at the event. Oh, gone for it. Didn't leave him in too much trouble, but Jason will now leave himself in a position where. This will be very close to the bottom bag. Wouldn't surprise me if he plays it from behind again. Oh, what a shot. Or pot it. Why not? <laughs> and very quickly goes into a 2 0 lead. 2 0 lead and two very good blacks. Definitely putting on a show. As you can see, our next match at 10 o'clock this morning is Zach Osborne versus Kevin Gemmell. That says 12 o'clock, not 10 o'clock. You are correct, it does. <laughs> it's because it is 12 o'clock. I'm, I'm too tired. I've not woken up yet. <laughs> I saw 10. So you saw the 10th. Yeah, yeah, I saw the 10th. <laughs> it can only get better. You hope. Yeah, that's what they like to say. Yeah. So, rack number three. Les really could do with getting one on the board. ASAP. I mean, as we've seen on your last live streaming session down here, 
Last live stream. Last live stream event here. Um, Mr. Gilly. So, uh, Zach, was it? Yeah, Zach Williams. Zach Williams. Took him for the month of Sundays. 12 times. Took him all of 45 minutes. Well, in fact, it was less than that, so it was 45 minutes for the whole stream, that included adverts and everything. <laughs> so realistically, it was probably about 35 minutes I played him. It was about 40, yeah, 35, yeah. 40, yeah. Which for a race to 12 is rather rapid. Yeah, it does help, though, when... Like, as we've had this conversation off-air, obviously, mm. but it helps when... Uh, that sort of timing when your opponent doesn't really turn up. Um, and also as well, if you have like six or seven break stroke reversed issues. Yeah. Lalo. Um, yeah, yeah no, so of course you, it does. Yeah, yeah you're leaving yeah. your opponent off the table, they can't do anything, and then when they do come to the table, they're right under the pressure already. They. Yeah, exactly. That. If they don't capitalise, then... you. They just get punished as Mark shows. So Jason taking a early control in this third thing. As we know, though, in Blackpool, we can play the skill shot and try and manoeuvre it. That will be as his first priority as quick as possible. I think Jason's just going to spend his time getting some of his balls out in the open and make them a bit more portable. Yeah, exactly. In, in this position, you've got, you've got time. Very nice shot to the Virgin. Yeah, good Got an opportunity here though, but she's already looking at it. As long as you screw past the yellow. Well, that's plenty of time. You could play the four ball plant with him. That would do two things. Technically pop the ball if it works. And equally open up the other three. Or not. He didn't sound happy about that one. Seems a bit of a quick player, Jason. Yeah. Always been like that. So this one is just going to be a little mini chess game, really. It's just about all who can get their balls out in the open and pop balls as quick as they can. Yeah, so Jason can stay in control here though. Try to keep so the bag on the bag's now a bit more open than the previous, but that's Yeah, still he's uh, left an opening for Les now, isn't he? Unless he doesn't go for this now. Yeah, he can't not go for it now though, because angles can be created off this. Very good trip. One R. Just needs to make sure that he gets the second red first one he's hit over the pocket as much as possible because he's now going to have to rely on a slight bit of luck on getting this cue ball out of the cluster navigated that pretty well thank you Jasmine for your comment uh, yes we do try morning Jasmine Hopefully the commentary is coming through loud and clear. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's a good fantastic shot. I'll tell you what, that is three killer blacks. Three fantastic finishes. Yeah, that was good. Jasmine, as you've uh, tuned in to listen, is our mics and everything okay? Is it too loud? Is it just right? Not as loud said, enough. Not, yeah, not loud enough. As we said before, you might have missed because you might have been tuned in right at the very start. But any criticism, constructive in any form, is how we are going to take it. But we would appreciate anything 
any feedback um, regarding the mics and how we sound and as Darren said a minute ago, if we're too loud, if we're too quiet, if it's too tinny, there is certain things that we can obviously do with our mixer board to to do make it better. So any feedback for people listening, please don't hesitate to chuck in a comment. Dry as the Sahara Desert. Useful for the to get a nice run of balls here. Again, he needs to get this frame under his belt. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a tough one, especially in these races to seven. They're not, they're not short. They're not long. A lot of people would have played this style of format um, in tournaments. Um, racing to six most of the day, maybe pushing it up to nine for a final potentially. Um, but in a money match, yes, okay. Granted, it's not for a huge pot. You would never see um, five, six, seven grand matches that races to seven. It's just unheard of. But considering Obviously, England actually doing well in the football. Um, we don't talk about to make the football. Some yes, we do. No, we don't. Just because you don't like football doesn't mean we don't talk about it. My but streaming, anyway. my rules. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. so nice that all the pl players have agreed to drop it because of that. And yeah. the majority of these players are football fans, so it gives them the opportunity to get to wherever they're going to to watch it. But over these short races... Without getting in early, could be in trouble. Yeah, you need to get a foothold in as quick as you can. Yeah, I mean, even if you, even if you were to get to one or, or two run down, yeah, you've still got in. You haven't waited. No, you're letting your attentions known, aren't you? Yeah. Showing the other player that there's well, a match on. 100% at this moment in time. It's all Jason. Very much taking control. This will be dead weight now. Doesn't want the white ball to move too much. Just wants to move it enough. Inches off the cushion helps skew in. Just makes it a slight bit more difficult. It's got to be very dainty now. Yeah, he's got a very good chance of going underneath the black key. He's also, no, it might sound stupid, but he's also got the in off now. Yeah. <coughs> and if you quit on this type of shot, He's going for the reverse cut. No, he went for the double. long double slash middle. <laughs> <laughs> Opportunity for Lesnar. Not quite in his rhythm. No, Les strikes me as one that just goes for everything. Yeah, he's happy go lucky. I think is the phrase. For those tuning in, obviously, uh, throughout the day, we are streaming four matches total today. Um, we will be, after each match, stopping the stream and then restarting the stream um, when the next match starts. Uh, so keep an eye on our Facebook page um, with updates for the links to the stream and also as well if you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon on YouTube you will automatically get notified when we go live.
Jason trying to repeat the two frames ago. And from beyond. He's got a slight bit lucky with that by pushing one of the reds closer to the cushion. Now with Jason being three in front as well, less readings to start thinking about where he's going to leave the white ball. And that will do. That will do. A few different options here, Darren. The ridiculous one being the Masse round. Yeah, not left to right. Go, I think he's got to go down the left. Yeah, no, you can play uh, one cushion here, just above the that. middle pocket. Slide the tracer yeah. right hand side, yeah. or you take it below the middle pocket on your route, or you can take it on this one. More for the fans than that was. Yeah. It's very extreme. Definitely not the route I've ever gone. <laughs> but to be fair, he got a lot closer than what I thought he was going to. <laughs> very much so. Yeah, this is, this is difficult as any time getting out of a snooker, and especially when there's money on the line. But yeah. Now, Les really needs to take this opportunity and grab by the, the ball by the ones. Be said though. See, even by making that type of mistake, he would have wanted yeah. this red in close to all this one in. Just tick it in. Yeah. Yeah. Now we've got to play this off the two cushions. I think that was a frustration poke. There's a frustration poke and there's an insanity poke. 4 0, Jason. to break, ball's potted. Not bad split. Options are plenty. I think red or white is I'll take your nose. If you can put that one in the middle. A couple of run throughs to start with. That tough to uh, judge on some of these players. Yeah. 
That was foul. Cheeky little foul. Sorry, Les, did you pot off the break? Yes. No, I think it was called it. Yeah, See, in that situation, I personally would not have picking up the mic. There is more risk going this way. Point in case. Whereas the other way, you would have definitely got a red out in the end. And he would have probably the protected top. the yellow that he was hitting into it, into the cushion. So, where now he's got to do a bit more manoeuvre, a bit more routing, mapping. It wasn't actually a bit like he looked at the sky and so white carried on moving. Yeah. Nice uh, early viewing figures, Darren. Yes, we're not doing too bad. We've got 14 watching as we speak. So 14 that are watching. Give us a comment. Give us a like on the stream. Um, even emoji. Even the emoji. Drop um, an emoji. Just let us know you're there. That you're listening. Let us, let us know where you're listening from today. Yeah. Is it from the comfort of your, your home? advanced at all are you a local person have you found the stream elsewhere let us know and again if you guys were tuning in earlier if you're interested in football cards for a small fee we have a one pound card which is 15 pounds to the winner two pound card which is 30 pounds to the winner was it a three pound card no two pound card two pound card 30 pounds to the winner yeah and then we've gone for a big boys card at five pound a spot, but you will win 75 bucks. So if you fancy getting involved in that, give us a private message for your QSL, and we will <coughs> give you either the bank details or PayPal if you require it. Yeah, a bit, bit of a nasty, scrappy table. Yeah, <laughs> nasty frame this one's going to be. But this could be the prime opportunity with two bags covered-ish. One bag definitely covered. Second bottom bag open but covered from one side. There's his opportunity to stick his frame on the board. Yeah, um, Jason needs to clean these reds from the bottom first, I think. Always work from one end of the table to the other. Yep. <coughs> so where are we uh, actually streaming from today then, Darren? Oh, we're streaming from second stage in Ilfracombe, right opposite the Landmark Theatre. Lovely. Lovely journey this morning in the slush. Cooking a drift, it'll fuck him slightly. That'll make Jason happy. Yeah, no, second stage has been very gracious host the last couple of days. Um, we came down and set up last night. Um, nothing has been too much trouble for them. They've been more than happy. 
and out and we couldn't find anything more. And the facilities are very nice here as well. That is a nice little touch. Touch more pace would have been beautiful, but I feel this is the opportunity for Lesnar. Yeah, he's got to take this now. If he's... Ooh. It's not too bad. How did that stay out, John Virgo? <laughs> I don't do impressions. <laughs> How did it not drop? Where's the line going? Oh, hello. That was a That's a nice little touch. <laughs> Well, considering he was going for the pot, yeah. I can safely say that... He's not going to be disappointed. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, lovely little venue, this. Um, Carvery's on Sundays. Yes, from Let's Get Roasted. Let's Get Roasted. One of our sponsors today. Yes, they are indeed. Three very good pool tables. We've got two Supremes, and we've got an old Super League. Um, and as far as I'm well, well backed as well. Yes. In terms of, um, it might only have three tables, but a lot of the majority of the top end players around the area come here. Yes, yeah, um, they've got an Ilfkin cash room. Yep. Um, I think it's mainly, if not completely plays from here. Maybe one other venue. Uh, but I'm not too sure, to be fair. <coughs> but yeah, there seems to be pool here most nights of the week. Always something going on. Yeah. The one thing I did find a bit quirky is um, the Skittle Pally, or Skittle Alley even. <laughs> Skittle Alley. Who's your pal? The what? Who's your pal? <laughs> I, don't know. I haven't got many friends. <laughs> um, but no, the Skittle just Alley. Your, just your gadgets. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, they talk to me. They do talk to me. Um, but anyway, the Skittle Alley. <laughs> um, the Skittle Alley is literally three foot away from the bar. When I first come down here, I was getting a drink at a bar, and then all of a sudden there's these balls flying past me behind. I was like, what the hell was going on? <laughs> Not something you see in an everyday pub. No. But all in all, very no. nice little setup. I believe it's Les's place. Yes, I believe so, yes. So a nice little job in here. Yes, My definitely. first time to the venue. Well, apart from last night setting up. Yeah. No, it's a nice little venue. Got to admit, very, very nice little venue. Mm. Good venue. Yeah, hundred percent. Admittedly, if you are outside of the venue, if you walked past it and you blinked, you'd completely miss it. Yeah. Um, but it's one of those little like gems that you find. A hidden gem. Yes. Right then, Les, what you think? Because I don't know what you think about the venue. No, we don't. Is he going to pump the skill shot or is he just going to get out? It? It's not a bad angle for a skilly, but <laughs> unless you play these regularly, it's tough. And that's, oh why no. he's, that's why he's come away from not playing it. Yeah. Thing is, Jason now, I think he drops this in one by the bag and he's golden for the rest of the round. But he's not taking it. That's a good nice shot. Queuing. That's two really nice shots now. Yeah. From awkward bridging positions. Yeah, Jason's queuing quite well today. Quite surprised he's taking it today. <coughs> but again, he's played it well. That's the thing about Paul. Yeah, it's the thing about Paul. We all see it differently. We all play it different ways. But if they all go in and you put the black, it's always the right way. No, I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Miss that. Oh, yeah. That oh, is that wider is. than me. Oh, for all That's the people that wide. don't me. <laughs> <laughs> but he will take it. He's left that very awkward. Thing. Less would be good just to put this yellow over the bag, over the bag underneath the red. He won't uh, take it on though. He is. Just a pat for you. Yeah. Thing is, where Jason's put the red, a it's awkward for Jason to get that red out and obviously clear up. Um, but it's really awkward for Les as well once he pops his yellow to get the black out. It works both ways in this game. Yeah. But he's gone for it. Big for effort. I think he's just got to bounce this off, just leave it in front of the black, but potable. Might be looking for a little DDK here. Yeah? <laughs> That's a very good shot. That was more riskier because if he did get the double kiss, yeah. then that kills you, but he has played it very nicely. In all fairness to him, a bit of a tracer left-hand side just to control the cue ball. Just makes it slide off the object ball a bit quicker. Let's go for the treble. Quadruple sex up to it. Should be. Should be. Why is it? Fuff. Nil. See if it's touching you. Oh. And it's not. It is not touching. Which makes this very awkward now. If it was touching, it'd be ideal because all you just have to do is just put it onto the cushion. But so, depending on how close it is, I I'm trying to catch this black as thin as possible. Loads with of right, right hand, hand side. side, yeah. You get the white up just the top make it as awkward as it is. At this point, you're aiming to. Which one way is going here? Mm. You're trying to aim to get to that corner, um, the bulkhead the left side pocket. Because mm. you're just sort of giving away the frame. Yeah, right, Les. Golden opportunity to get your first frame, mate. Oh. 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 I do believe that should be curtains for this frame. I'm afraid to say it, I think Les has got a mountain to climb me. 5 0 down. Jason needs two. There's a song about that. I think it was Miley Cyrus, it's a climb. A bit too modern for me. Yeah, it was probably back in the Hannah Montana days, that. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely too old for children's television then. <laughs> I can remember Mr. Ben and Captain Pugwash. Remember Pugwash? Yeah. Yeah. I was more of a SpongeBob guy, me. Yeah, again, of my time. Which I can't believe now. They've taken SpongeBob off of the, the actual program. Now. Really? Because the guy's died and nobody can replicate his voice. Oh. So is it the Patrick show? Me? It is, yeah. It's the Patrick show. You remind me of Patrick. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's another good break for Jason, but unfortunately, he's uh, not been able to pop. Open a double A. Yeah. Right, let's think about it. 
Either I've missed something. I could have sworn it was still open to me. It is open. This is the, this is the difference with just playing your mates yeah. on a practice night. You don't think about anything else because you know the rule set, you know what you're doing. But as soon as it comes to playing money, as soon as it comes to playing money, it does change your attitude and it does change your oh, way of, of course, thinking. Yeah. And it doesn't matter whether you're playing for a tenner a man. It doesn't matter whether you're playing 50 a man, 200 a man. Pressure at some point will hit you. Yeah. It's the trouble. I think he's just think he's come up far enough. I think he's okay. But if it does go, he's got to get up there off this ball. Yes. You do not want to be playing both of these balls to come up, to go back down. He's tweaked it. He's twitched. You just see his cue on, and it's a bit stabby compared yeah. to his... He just itself. twitched a little bit, didn't he? Yeah. You see his back arm twitch, and it's a little bit stabby, like you say. Mm. Again, the opposite effect. That even when you're five nil up in this scenario, yeah. the closer you get to the winning line, the harder it is. Oh, yeah. Because even though you say to yourself, I've done it this many times before in the last half hour, 40 minutes, it's just another another frame. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> getting over the line is not the easiest. No, it's not, no. As much as anybody might say, just play the ball in front of you, it's. Subconsciously, you just know it's at the back of your head, and yeah, it just makes a difference to what you're doing. He's laid that up nicely. I think he's got a bit of time here. Yeah. I mean, Les has got three awkward balls already. But it's quite an easy snooker. One obviously never opens the <coughs> gap yeah. up. Or not at all. I think Jason will be taking these out. Other frames, the commentator's curse already. <laughs> Based on it his previous frames, he's skewed quite well. Again, mapping wasn't his best. No, he just needed to screw back about six to eight inches. And be Alternatively, if he was up on a black, he wouldn't have had this problem in the first this place. Time, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think this is a. Again. Any type of money on the line can change how you normally yeah, think. Yeah. Yes, definitely. If you're not playing for money, as I say, you can sort of see routes, you can see your mapping, where you fancy going, etc., etc. As I said before, as soon as money comes on the line. Well, oh, Team Blitz. Yes, thank you very much, Team Blitz. Very kind of you to say so. Hopefully, we're coming through loud and clear. We've not had any, on, a, any confirmation from anybody yet how we're actually sending the stream. A bit later on, we may introduce you to our Roadcaster mixer board. We may have a bit of fun with that. We may. We may. We may. It's more than likely, but... <laughs> I hope you got a plan for that, then. <laughs> Rather than a plan, I always think off the cuff is better. I will leave that in your capable hands. Then. Fantastic. Okay, okay then. Yeah. Come on then, Les. Let's get your first frame on the board. Yeah, come Let's on. give you a chance. Nobody likes to see a donut. Yellow hadn't no the yellow would 
was stopping the. I know you're shaking your head at me. Technically. Get BT on this. Technically. Loss of three. Um. Oh no. Told you. Oh dear. You know what you're having a day? Today's the day. Yeah, if you look that up in the rule book. Just because another ball is obstructing it from leaving the pocket and going down its tunnel, so to speak. Yeah. The ball has not completely left the table. No, it hasn't. But how would you resolve that situation without a referee? So, without a referee, you would move the obstacle ball so that the white can release itself. And what if the white ball is blocking you from doing that? In this case, the yellow would trap the the white on top yeah so then you would move the the, the the trapped ball is the one you need to move to release the top ball yeah but the white was the top ball so wouldn't matter whether the white was the top ball or the bottom ball so how do you get through to the trapped ball well I'm not being funny you need to push it didn't you yeah <laughs> but yeah if you, I, I'm, I'm 99% sure I mean I know Darren's been on a ref course but it was probably quite a while ago now so we don't bring that up I failed. <laughs> <laughs> I retract my statement. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fail by much, but I failed. I think I got three questions Loser. wrong. Loser. I think I got three questions wrong. Out of four? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. I think I might be finding your mute button for the rest of the day. I don't think you will. I mean, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> but. And do you need a TRD test here as well? Yeah, I could get in trouble if you went around saying, I recognise those pants anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you So, Jason with the opportunity. It's not easy, but it's an opportunity. It is, and um, the being nice thing is he could drop. He could drop this in dead weight, which he has. Take the red next to black, roll through four inches, and then he would have to play a, a twice across the red over the right bag. But being six in well. He's free flowing, he hasn't got any pressure. But th that, that's where this comes in, right? He's, he's made a very. I mean, don't get me wrong, he still has a shot. So yeah. this one's a middle bag, but he's got to play this so precise. Um, whereas just that little bit of concentration would have, one, avoided that miss, yeah. two, left him in a better position. Only consolation, he's left less in very awkward position. Oh, no, 100%. Mr. Charlie, how are you? Oh, you had a donut as well? Yeah. Oh. Stan played really well then. I like it. We've just been given money. We have. <laughs> This happen every day. Just people just turn up with money for doing nothing. Ambience. Yes. I think someone's burning some incense or something. There's a definite waft that's come through. Yeah. I think I might be hungry in a minute. <laughs> All I can smell is vanilla. <laughs> that's not vanilla. <laughs> that is definitely not vanilla. I'm only trying to help you out then, but... That's a very good shot from Jake. Nice and thin on this one. Can disturb that red. Doesn't want to leave. Play too much side because it will take it away from the ball. Just like that. Not like that. Like that. Just As like Tommy that. Cooper said. Just like that. Just like that. Was that John Charlie played this game? Yeah. 
Dan beat him 7 0. So is Dan playing twice today? Yes. So now Dan's won some money. Quite possibly he went broken even then. Oh, for paying for his both deposits. Yeah. Got it, yeah. I'm not too sure how much they played for. Is um, I think it might be 100, 150 for the pot. I mean, to be fair, his pot tonight that he's playing for is um, he's playing Dan Hawkins for a 300 pound pot prize. One of the biggest ones of the day. Yes. <coughs> but for that match, Dan Moore will be starting on minus two. That's a nice one. It's a very good double. If he wants to play the long double, he's got it's a bit harder than he thinks. He needs to miss that yellow. Yeah, and by doing that, you just need to hit it a touch harder than you think, just yeah. to square it off the cushion. Oh no, coming off the side again. He does like, oh. he does like coming off the side for those reverse doubles. Very rash from Jason there. Personally, I would have gone for the thin cut, because as long as you get it over towards the bank, you're covering the pocket. Is that because you wish to be thin one day? That's never going to happen. <laughs> Not that I can say a lot, but just thought I'd chuck it out there. So long red for Les. Red? That's definitely yellow. That's definitely yellow. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right, come on, Les. Let's get one on the board, Les, yes. at least. Come on, Les. And then it's not a donut. Just don't over it anything. Drop these in. Uno by Uno. One over the black bag now. Probably be the ideal way for me. The only reason I say that is it just leaves more options yeah. when the black is there. Yeah, you could take the one over the black pass, bag and screwed back. And then yeah, but I know the black choice. passes regardless, but yeah. it just gives the player that much oh. more confidence. But that has... I'm not sure what he thinks he was going to... No, it's gone wrong. There's a hit and hope coming here. Yep. That's a oh, complete good shot. Good morning. <laughs> Is he going to come with another one? Finish on a double double. Who doesn't love a double double? Les, take it away. Come on, Les. Boy. He's keeping us in suspenders. I don't want to know what you're wearing. No. I am absolutely fascinated by that. I'm slightly confused. <laughs> I thought. He was just going to launch yeah. it. Equally, I'm surprised at that. I thought yeah. that was the middle bag. <laughs> but he's left a good right. Left a good right. Right, come on, Les. Bit of good queuing. Not too hard. White ball. Just oh, just dear. Just oh, 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 dear. Yes, I think this should be curtains. Short and curly should be applied. Yeah. Hello, pressure. When you're on the hill, it's the hardest game to win. <laughs> I'm not singing. I'm not going to punish our viewers that badly with my singing. Just got to have a bit of a laugh. As I said, I've although you're having a bit of a mini rave to the 1950s, oh, okay, okay, well lovely finish. Yeah. Um, as I've said before, I've got a face for radio and a voice for silence. <laughs> no comments there. Well Here he is then. Well, well done, Jason. Right. Coming over for a quick chat. Or <laughs> come, do, come, do, come do a winners interview, mate. We'll have you, we'll have you on for a minute. Right. So for those of you that are still tuned in, we will be back at twelve o'clock for the Zach Osborne and Kevin Gemmell game. Uh, we will post everything on social media, but like I say, if you subscribe and like the channel, um, press the bell icon, you will be notified of every time that we go live. Um, anything you would like to say, Mitch? Thanks for watching. Um, that's our first for the day. Three to go. Yeah, three um, more to go. 
back at games the moment. do games do get more um, money for more money. Yeah. yeah, the more it goes on, they've they've put the the bigger pots near the end of the day. Yes. Uh, yes. So um, <laughs> we're just having a few pictures taken. I think we're gonna we're gonna hold on a second because we are gonna let the adverts run. We have got uh, sponsors for the day. I think we've got seven or eight today. Uh, twelve, I think. Is it twelve yeah, in 12. total? Yeah, twelve in total. So, a big shout out to those guys. Um, without those, um, as much as Darren has put in the time and the effort to build what he has, um, <laughs> without people like these, without people like yeah, no, these I, was I, was sorry, I, was, I was trying to listen to a conversation, yeah. and it wasn't quite yeah. working. Yeah. My multitasking went a bit sideways. Um, yeah, without these guys, um, given the given the opportunity to do their their advertising on the stream yeah. it, it, it's all a massive help to Darren and um, and yeah and we will always have it open for others to come in we're yep. always going to uh, yeah if you would like to sponsor the, the yeah if you'd like to sponsor the channel um, just get in touch drop us a message and we'll get back to you and we'll obviously have a discussion um, and we'll let you know how it works and we can always go from there we can indeed. Anyway, there's your first game over and done with. We'll see you Jason, well. Jason was the winner. Yes. Seven to a donut. Unfortunate for Les, he didn't have his best day on the base, but I'm sure we will see him again. Yes, we will do, and we'll see you all at 12 o'clock. See you at 12. Bye-bye. Thanks, viewers.